What's up everybody, so Fear Girl Thunder Reactor here, back at it again with another reaction video. Today's going to be another, I don't know what, probably, oh, re quadruple reaction, I think, from Fish Whisperer. Sorry, I'm having keep me try, but I think it's like at least four videos, if not, maybe five, I can't remember. <sighs> Sorry. First video we have is Charlie is Hungry. Now, if I, judging by the thumbnail, I immediately remembered about Charlie and about uh, Kyle's two new alligator guards of the family, Guadalupe and the other one that I can't remember the name of. He named them after the some rivers in Texas, but we're going to see how they're doing right now. Link will be in the description for his channel if you have not checked it out already, guys. Let's dive right in, literally. Colorado. Guadalupe right there. And then Charlie the crawfish is chilling mm. right there. Mm -hmm. A lot of the smaller threatened chad died during the freeze, so these big gizzard chad were all I could catch. Okay. They're a little too big for them to eat whole, so I'm going to have to cut them in pieces. Here's the first piece. This is a big gizzard chad. Whoa. Oh, that was loud. Colorado just got the first piece. Yeah, that was loud. Sound like a balloon one. popping underwater. Look at that gizzard. That is perfect for it. I was just about to feed the guard and Charlie started sticking his pinchers out. Look at that. I think he's hungry. There you go. Mm hmm. He loves eating shad. Oh no. Hopefully, Brazos doesn't steal it. You'll see for this, but. There it goes. I want to see scales all over the place. Excuse me for this. There you go. And the most gentle. We got a big tail piece here from the big shot. Tail chef. piece. Sorry, I was not paying attention to everybody. Oh, the next time I feed these guys, I'm going to get them a special treat. Scary hand feeding Brazos now. What's going on? Colorado got the big piece. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, Gua, that's the nice nickname. There we go. Oh, is that so? Dude, that thing is small and cute. Left. Me. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, scared me. Stared at it for like five seconds. Yes. This is gonna get it. Ooh. Dude, that one looks like a jellyfish almost. It's like it has tentacles. Another one got one. It's just gar feeding for this video. Oh, excuse me. Oh, chomp. <laughs> Got the last piece here. The big one guy. Well, guys, thank y'all for watching. Okay. I really hope you enjoyed watching the Gar and Charlie eat. I will see y'all next time. See you too, Kyle. Not this again. Guys, I'm out of my new ponds today. We have. Putting brush piles in my new ponds. Ponds. Hey, I'm gonna make some brush piles to put in the new ponds. So I have some dead brush here, and I'm gonna attach mm -hmm. it to the cinder blocks, and then spread them around throughout the ponds. Well, our cinder blocks gonna be like good structure for bass and other bait fish. I, I see. I have this wire here, and I'm gonna run it through the cinder block, and then I'm gonna wrap it around the brush. 
Okay, oh my goodness, excuse me. Alright. I see what he's doing. It's a bit bad decorative. So he attaches it to the center blocks, well, the center blocks the anchoring. One in. It's probably in about four feet of water. I'm gonna try to get some of the smaller ones out deeper. I'm gonna try to do more in the bass pond than the gar pond. Travel inside the pool. Uh, I'm sorry. Was okay. Oh, that is sick. Could try to get those things out deeper. I see. He attaches it to the cinder block. We have the third one tied up and ready to go in the pond. Okay. Whoa. That is a big brush pile. Holy moly. I'm gonna put minnows in here soon, <laughs> and they love hiding and stuff like this. Mm hmm. Just nice. It's like throwing stuff in the pond. Really deep in the bass pond. It's probably ten or twelve feet off this drop off where I just threw it. How is our flow? There it goes. <laughs> oh, tiny that branches first. Look at how the guard cage is turning out. It looks really good. I put new wire inside so the guard for sure won't get out. And uh, the water's super clear, so it's going to be cool when I put them in here. Oh, okay, right. we're going to do one more. I got two more pieces of brush. I'm going to combine them on this cinder block. Sure thing, Kyle. Brush piles to add decorative. I mean, what even is the purpose of this dead brush piles? Piles looking good. I'm gonna put it on that end of the bass pond. End of the bass pond. This one turned out really well. We've got six brush piles in the pond, and I'll probably add some more in the coming weeks. Okay. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that video. Next, I'm gonna be adding vegetation to the pond and small bait fish. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time. I believe that's what we're about to see in future videos. This next see one here, today. small pet alligator gar versus live t t uh, Gosh dang it. Small pet alligator gar versus live tilapia. Here with my four baby alligator gar, and I have for them 50 live tilapia. Goodness. These are white tilapia, and they're a really good source of protein for them. Really so good source. So also, tilapia, I thought they would be a lot bigger, and that these gar would be eating them. So I put a few in there, and they really didn't take any interest to them. They ate a few, but they weren't too interested. But I think these guys are perfect size for the smaller gar, so I'm going to give it a shot. Got about five or six in here. Ooh, that's like more than five or six. Oh, look at them. They're eating it up. Good source of protein. Put a couple more. Are tilapia really a good source of protein? Excuse me. This guy's back on the hunt. Back on the hunt. Got That'll be a baked one. tilapia. Okay, you bake tilapia, not cook it or fry it or anything. Chomp that one. Goodness. Sorry about that, guys. Back to it. I'm making myself hungry by just searching up food facts. <sighs> oh, gosh. That's a motor right there. Stop this a tiny bit more. Well, these guys are full, and I've stopped eating. I'm gonna go get some shad for the big gar. I got three shad here for the big gar. All right. I'm gonna give one shad to each gar. One shad All for right. each gar, baby. Something in my ear. Gotta give a little bit to Charlie here. He's hiding behind the heater. Oh. 
The world must be plentiful war for these guys now. Whoa. That is scary. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, Guadalupe. I'm gonna drop it down for Guad. It's on his nose. Come on. Oh, oh. Colorado stole it from him. It's hard to give Guad food because Colorado and Brazos just steal it from him. Come on, guys, share. Give Guad food. I will make sure to feed you extra tomorrow. Well, thank you guys all for right. watching. There's only about three or four tilapia left in the tank. They pretty much all of them. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you oh. next time. All right, the guys. I think the last video. Oh my gosh, another freaking vaping. This could be the last one. I'm not too sure. Adding aquatic vegetation to my new ponds. Hey guys, I'm out here at my ponds today, and today I'm gonna be getting some aquatic vegetation for them. There's a local pond close to here which has a lot of hornwort which provides oxygen and prevents excessive algae growth in ponds. So to start out, I'm going to go get a big bucket full of hornwort and put it in the ponds. All right. We'll be adding lily pads and other plants to the ponds, but for today, I'm just going to be getting hornwort. Okay, guys, I made it to the pond with the hornwort, and look how much hornwort. there is. It's basically just covering the whole pond. Okay, I got my bucket filled, and now I got my net. I'm Where's this in Texas? If he's in VEP, if he is in Texas. So aquatic vegetation, you said the... Look at that, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh, Kyle was so not kidding. I'm just trying to get the liveliest stuff. I want to... This stuff is really popular to put in aquariums, and this okay. is way hey, cheaper yeah. than buying it online. Oh, alright, is, right, is aquatic vegetation that expensive online? Hmm, knowing facts day by day. Buying it online. <clears throat> so he's getting the liveliest things. Man, this whole it. body of water is filled. He was not lying. Kyle, you weren't lying, man. That looks good. That looks pretty dead. Oh, but he still does it anyway. This pond is super shallow the whole way across. My ponds are a lot deeper, so it shouldn't take over like it has here. Yeah, but like, There's my... a really good clump right there. Look at all this hornwort. Man. There is so much of it. I'm probably going to keep scooping until I fill up the bucket full. Okay, I'm going to search up something about a flag vegetation. Okay. Look at that, I caught a little crawfish too. I'm oh wow. Really? You're taking that thing with you? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do one more big scoop. Where is this river in Texas, man? You said it's super wow. shallow. There's about to be a lot of sea creatures in there. I think I just found myself a thumbnail. This should be a good start adding it to the ponds, and I can always come back and get more if I need to. Okay, I'm back at my ponds with the hornwort. I'm going Gosh. to be spreading about half of it in the back Looks a the whole pond lot here, like mold. Looks like that thing has been preserved for at least a thousand years. Looks black up far, but up close it's still green. Some more. Just store it in the pond, let it drift around. Let me put one more big handful in the Pond. Okay, so it doesn't okay, look we're... like too much yet, but hornwort grows really fast, so it should take off within the next couple months. Okay. Let's put the rest in the garden. Or pond what? Hang now. on, I gotta turn on cash him to see what he's saying. It doesn't look like too much yet, but hornwort grows really Horn fast. Hornwort. So what is that? Take off within the next couple months. It's the first Let's time I have to put on in captions in a reaction now. video, just to get an idea of what the Grab heck. I'm gonna put this in the gar cage here. The gar cage. That spreads. Okay, horn wart. My goodness, man. I can see the that. Crawfish. It looks like looks looks kind of fuzzy. Let's put the crawfish in. Dude, the crawfish here? That's so cool. Look at 
look at them right there. That is the first fish or crustacean I put in the ponds yet. Okay, why are there flies all around? Cornwork to the new ponds, and I might need some more, but it should be a good start, and it should start growing fast. I'm gonna head back and check on my three gar, which are going in the gar cage soon. Next, I'm gonna be stocking a bunch of mosquito fish to these new ponds. Okay. Show thing, Cal. Can't wait for the addition. And I can see that breast is much larger than the other two gar. Cool. I mean, breast has recently turned two, so. You like? Sorry for that, everybody. Darn. S done snagged it out of his hand. Like, could you kindly move? There's a chat underneath you. Oh, he got it. He got it with his legs. I'm gonna give a shad to the little gar. All right. Oh. Oh my! Did the no? Did the quality did not just go down again? Come on. Look at his brasses. Look at his teeth. I can see his teeth from here. There you go. Got a big shad here for Colorado. Big, big, big shad. Sorry, I got RuneScape Sea Shandy 2 stuck in my head because I've been listening to it a whole lot yesterday, including the Tribe remix. Brad just got it. So. Let me know in the comments what other videos you want me to make with the new ponds. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all Well, obviously, the, the addition of mosquito fish and a whole lot of other things. That was the last video. So, it link will be in the description, guys, for Fish Whispers channel, a.k.a. Kyle, if you have not checked them out already. Cannot wait to see what is to come a new playlist for the next few months. It is March, and the ponds are having a great start. That being said, thank you all so much for watching. See you in the next reaction. So, if you're going to Thunder Reactor, signing out. Reactor out.